Greetings, everyone. I'm Sue Geyer, President of the Board of Directors of the Rochester Oratorio Society. Welcome to the 2023 Rochester International Vocal Competition Video Showcase. Hello, my name is Emma Grace Wade and I am a soprano located here in Rochester, New York. I am currently a first year in the studio of Professor Nicole Cabell at the Eastman School. I um, recently was a winner last year of the Encouragement Award from the Rochester Oratorio Society from the Rochester International Vocal Competition. And it was such an honor to be a part of that. It was, it was truly an amazing experience. And I am so thankful to have been given this award a year ago and talk about my experience because I believe that uh, being able to network and have these opportunities through the Rochester Oratorio Society, which is such an asset uh, to the city of Rochester, was, was such a blessing. So thank you so much. Hello, everyone. My name is David Prenner. Jeff Moran and myself are the co-chairs of the Rochester Oratorio Society's 2023 Rochester International Vocal Competition. As co-chairs, we would personally like to thank you so much for your time and interest. This year, we had 235 superbly qualified applicants from around the world, more than any other in the competition's history. Additionally, for the first time, the competition was split into two categories, emerging artist and professional. Emerging artists are students who are currently enrolled in vocal performance study at an academic institution. Of the 235 applicants, 80 were emerging artists. This year, because of the high quality of our contestants, our judges recommended two first prizes in the professional category. Second and third prizes were also awarded. For the emerging artists, only one prize was awarded. First prize has been awarded to Gabrielle Barquidia. Gabrielle, a mezzo-soprano, is currently a resident artist with the Detroit Opera. In addition to the Detroit Opera, she has been a young artist with the Merrilla Opera, Aspen Opera Theater, and Central City Opera. Recently, Gabrielle earned encouragement awards from the Goethe Listener Foundation and the Metropolitan Opera National Competition, Boston and Illinois Districts, as well as the Kay Carpenter Award from the Young Patronesses of the Opera Competition. She received both her Bachelor's of Music and Master's of Music from Northwestern University and was a young artist with the Boston University Opera Institute. First prize has also been awarded to Jason Zacher, a bass baritone. In the summer of 2022, Jason returned to the Des Moines Metro Opera singing the role of Jimmy in the Midwest premiere of American Apollo, as well as covering Bottom and Theseus in Britain's A Midsummer Night's Dream. For the 2022 and 2023 season, he was a member of the Barber and Halsey Stanford Studio Artist Program at Kentucky Opera. Additionally, Jason was named the New York City District winner for the Metropolitan Opera LaFont competition. This summer, he will be joining the Glimmerglass Festival as a young artist where he will cover the roles of Pangloss and Voltaire in Candide and Argante in Rinaldo. Hello, I'm Jeff Moran, David's co-chair in this year's RIVC. Second prize has been awarded to soprano Magdalena Kuzma. Magdalena recently won first place in the Butler International, ACPC Sembrick, Pasadena Opera, Mississippi Opera, and Concert Artists Guild competitions. She placed second at the Metropolitan Opera Regionals and Shreveport Opera competition, and audience favorite in the National Opera Association competition. This season, Magdalena will perform in the roles of Adana in Le Lazier d'Amour at Yale, Frasquita in Carmen with the Santa Fe Opera, a soloist in Mahler's Symphony No. 4 with the Richmond Symphony, and Pamina in the Magic Flute at Opera Orlando. This fall, she debuts as a Lindemann Young Artist at the Metropolitan Opera, performing Gianetta in Le Lazier d'Amour. Magdalena is an alumna of Renee Fleming's Song Studio at Carnegie Hall, Houston Grand Opera's Young Artist Vocal Academy, and the Bach Institute at Emmanuel Music. 
She holds degrees in music and psychology from Oberlin College and Conservatory, the Juilliard School, and Yale University. Third prize has been awarded to Lisa Marie Rogali. Lisa Marie has been featured in roles with the Minnesota Opera, Glimmer Glass Festival, Opera Theater of St. Louis, and Opera Saratoga. For the 2023-24 season, she joins the Detroit Opera's Resident Artist Program. She has earned top accolades from the Metropolitan Opera LaFont Competition, Jensen Foundation, Julio Gary Foundation, American Traditions Vocal Collection, Lot Lenya Competition, and many more. Lisa Marie received her Master's in Music in Vocal Performance from the University of Cincinnati College Conservatory of Music and her Bachelor of Music Education from the Pennsylvania State University. And now, without further ado, let's listen to some memorable performances featuring these singers. My name is Lisa Marie Rogali, and this is Una Voce Poco Fa from Il Barbieri di Siviglia by Rossini. Yeah. 
my name is Magdalena Kuzma and this is Aji Chontko na Mumiera from Moniuszko's opera Halka. Oh, 
Hello, my name is Jason Zacher, and this is Vecchia Timarra from Puccini's La Boheme. Hello, I'm Gabrielle Barkigia, and I'm a mezzo-soprano originally from Chicago, Illinois. Today, I am going to present the letter aria from Verter by Massonet.
The Rochester Oratorio Society, now in our 77th season, serves the Rochester community year-round with choral music concerts of the highest quality. Our 100-voice symphonic choir produces two to four concerts each year of celebratory music, commemorative concerts, educational, inspiring, wonderful events that delight and engage our audiences and inspire them to return time and time again. We also produce a charity concert each December, and we perform often with the Rochester Philharmonic Orchestra. We find a way to make everyone enjoy what we're doing. Everyone who shares our passion for choral music is welcome to participate and to attend our concerts. We hope to see you in our audiences very soon. And now here to tell you more is Sue Geyer, our board president. 
The ROS is well known locally as the large chorus that sings the Messiah with the RPO. Here are a few additional important roles that the Rochester Oratorio Society also plays in our community. ROS maintains a select ensemble which sings a wide variety of music at schools, libraries, and festivals. ROS presents a concert series called Arts Connection. Dr. Carl DuPont, performer and curator, created two programs for the Rochester community this year. ROS underwrites and provides music education opportunities that help to develop the next generation of classically trained singers. And ROS sponsors the Rochester International Vocal Competition. By viewing this RIVC showcase today, you are helping the Rochester Oratorio Society bring great singing to life. Hi, my name is Jenny Horn, and I am honored to support the Rochester Oratorio Society because I believe that everyone should have the opportunity to sing. And ROS is helping to make that happen with all kinds of education and outreach to bring choral music to our local area and beyond. High school students come to ROS as choral scholars, free of charge for a concert cycle or a whole season and now they can apply for a singership of up to $500 to augment their time at ROS, as well as letters of support for their college applications. Choral music teachers can also take advantage of a season with ROS as choral fellows. For students in Rochester City Schools, we have partnered with local organizations to offer after-school choral and vocal instruction, and we'll be expanding these efforts in the coming years. Our outreach choir, Resonance, visits area schools to sing lively programs with historical significance. I hope you will join me in supporting the Rochester Oratorio Society so that all these wonderful opportunities can stay strong and grow. Thank you for viewing the Rochester International 2023 Winners Showcase. Please visit our website at roscings.org.